Okay, so please stop looking at me and please just listen to me as I speak, okay? So put your phone face down and just listen to me as I speak, okay? This is all spiritual, okay? None of this is physical. It's all spiritual, okay? So that's why I need you to listen to me as I speak, okay? Stop looking at me, okay? okay again, put your phone face down and now listen to me as I speak, okay? Uh, okay, so today, I, today is the day of Pente Pentecost, right? Uh, right, today is Sunday, June, June 5th. Uh, that means that today is the day of Pentecost, okay? So if you don't know what the day of Pentecost is, I'll explain it, okay? Uh, so the day of Pentecost is the day when the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples, okay? Okay, uh, so that's the day of Pentecost, okay? Um, yeah, it's an event that happened in the Bible. Um, uh, and uh, during that event, the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples, okay? So that's what that event is, okay? The day of Pentecost. So, Many Christians mark the day of Pentecost as the beginning of the Christian church as we know it, okay? In the New Testament, the book of Acts, this is where the day of Pentecost occurred um, in the Bible, okay? So, uh, on the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven, like the roaring of a mighty windstorm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them. And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages, as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. Okay. Um, immediately the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, causing them to speak in tongues. Uh, when the disciples began to speak in tongues, some people in the crowd thought that the, the apostles were drunk. <laughs> Seizing the moment, the apostle Peter, he stood and addressed the crowd gathered that day. Apostle Peter explained to the people that, uh, that the disciples were not drunk but they are filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was uh, the day of Pentecost, okay? Um, that was how the Bible described that actual event, okay? So basically, yeah, the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples, right? And when the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples, they began to speak in tongues, right? Or they began to speak in other languages. Um, so, yeah, so that, that was that event, okay? The, the, the day of Pentecost, okay? That was the day where, again, where the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples, okay? So that day was a turning point in the early church. The day of Pentecost was that turning point. That was the day, again, where the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles and filled them. So, of course, you know, that was the explanation of the day of the Pentecost, right? If you didn't know what that day was, uh, you can find that event uh, in the New Testament of the Bible, okay? The day of Pentecost is in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, okay? So, yeah, if you want to find that event in the Bible, again, it's in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, okay? You can find that event in the Bible, the day of Pentecost, okay? Again, the day where the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles and filled them, okay? Um, and that's also today, okay? Today's the day of Pentecost, okay? June 5th, June 5th. Sunday, June 5th. Today's the day of Pentecost, okay? So now I'll just read uh, that, that event in the Bible, okay? Um, so again, I said it's Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. So I'll read that right now. So it says, uh, okay, so again, this is Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, and it reads, sorry about the noise in the background. 
sorry. So I'll just wait for the, the noise to stop. Okay. okay, so here it goes. So this again, this is Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. And it reads, it says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak of other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance okay so that was Acts chapter 2 verses 1 to 4 that Bible scripture uh, explains the day of Pentecost, okay? So please, you know, please read that Bible scripture. Again, it's Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, okay? That is the scripture that explains the day of Pentecost, okay? That was the day where all the believers gathered in one place. And then the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples and filled them. The Holy Spirit filled them. And the disciples, they began to speak in tongues and other languages, okay? So that was that day, okay? It was such an important day because, um, I, I don't know, I think maybe that, that was the first in, uh, event in the Bible where the Holy Spirit actually descended upon anybody, you know? So that's why it's such an important day, okay? So you can also ask God, you know, to pour out His Holy Spirit on you as well, okay? And ask God to pour out that Holy Spirit on you as well, okay? And you will have that ability to speak in tongues as well, okay? And other languages, etc., you know, you have that ability. So. so that's the end of that, okay? Again, today is uh, the day of Pentecost, okay? Um, that was today's lesson. Okay? So God bless every living soul that will see this video, okay? You should be able to understand this video, okay? If you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you should be able to understand this video. God bless every living soul that will see this video.